Now, for the sake of demonstration, I wanted to talk a little bit about distortion before the wah-wah versus distortion after the wah-wah. Very, very different sound. So I'm using a BB preamp, another great pedal. I have one. Yes, I do. Great pedal. So I'm using a BB pedal, but this time I put it before the wah-wah. So you can kind of, you know, figure out what's going on there in terms of sound. Not a lot of distortion, but you'll get the idea. Okay, add the wah-wah. Sounds interesting, a little fuzzy for my taste, but that's one way to do it. That's what a lot of guys do. So, let's try it after the Wawa. Okay, so now what we've done is we've taken the same BB preamp, same settings, same volume, same tone, but this time we've placed it after the Wawa instead of before the Wawa. So, same sound. Add the Wawa. Now for me, I like that sound better. And also this is uh, probably will better illustrate, if you will, or demonstrate uh, if you have a wah-wah before an amp that's broken up. So if you have a lead tone on your amp and you add wah-wah, this is more the effect that you'll get is this. <laughs> And for me, that's more desirable, but hey, you know, it's all up to personal taste. It's, it's uh, what we're concentrating on, what we're focusing on is you want to make music. And like I said, the XW1 is a great wah-wah pedal. If you're looking for a wah-wah pedal, very versatile, great tone, really quiet. See, even with, even with an overdrive on, you're not hearing any noise from a wah-wah pedal. You're hearing a little noise from the BB, but wah-wah pedal, dead quiet.